What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to OCRP and somebody asked me in one of my videos if I can get a GTR so here we go, this is my modified GTR registered to Bobby Robertson who we are now and um, yeah, I, what are we doing in today's episode? I have no idea, it's, it has something to do with getting tickets that's pretty much all I thought um, the weather here is lovely, it's almost June now believe it or not surprisingly wow um, it is very very hot even in the UK we get hot weather believe it or not and my face is sunburned like a motherfucker like it actually hurt to put my headset on because I smacked myself in the face because um, you know just mildly retarded but yeah I got really bad sunburn on my face and pretty much everywhere else so yeah that was fun, so I thought I'd jump on OCRP today and played for um, a few days even though you guys have seen a few videos but I, I actually haven't played, they were pre-recorded really? what is going on down there? but yeah I fancy um, screwing with the police as always so I'm just gonna get some tickets, we're gonna drive around, might have a pursuit, I don't know all I do know is that this car is sexy as fuck I love it, even the sticker on the back bay sure, it just look, it really does look cool. They managed to make this car, you know what, fuck a doodle do this. Okay, that wasn't smart. Move. You know what, we're in a GTR. Let's do it how they do on the Discovery Channel. Oh, that's the new Tahoe. I didn't know they had them. No, it's Tahoe, buddy. That's really cool. Oh well. I'm off. That's really cool. I didn't know they had them. They must have added them. Oh, that's really cool. I wish I could. I wish I was Highway Patrol again. I want to play in a Tahoe. Oh well. So yeah, let's just speed around, see how many tickets we can get, and then whatever happens, we'll take it from there. What's this? The fucking truck convention? Fair play, I like the black one. The black one looks sexy. That is just... That's huge. Why would you want a car that big? You just wouldn't. A car I would like, though, the GTR. Like, genuinely, in real life, I would kill for a GTR. I've, um... I've sat in one, never driven one. I have, on the other hand, driven an Evo 9, which is just an animal. We managed to get up to 155. And that, bear in mind the car was like, I think it was 10, 11, 12 years old, something like that. And it still had a kick to it, it's fair play. And, do you know, it's weird, because at 155, bear in mind we did this on the road, I shouldn't admit to that, but we did. You kind of, you enter a state where it's like, it doesn't matter if you crash. Because you know that if you crash, you're dead. So you just kind of sit there and accept it. Why is that light? Oh, that's the sky dish. Yeah, you just kind of sit there and accept it. It's it's a weird feeling, because I was in the front passenger seat at the time. And I just remember thinking, well, if a truck does pull out of that turning up ahead, I am not even going to have time to register the fact I'm dying. I'm just going to go splat into the windscreen. It is a weird feeling, but I do... I love that car. It's actually been taken off the road right now to um, upgrade it, because the clutch went. God, there's a lot of police stuff happening around Blaine County. Holy crap. Nice car, dude. Run out, dog. You too. Cheers, man. What'd you get pulled over for? Aw, oh, man. I don't know. I guess I was doing like 60 something. Unlucky. And wheel Hell spin. Yeah, dog. See you <laughs> I wonder if he's going to call that in. My hazard lights were on, so it's fine. You're allowed to stop if your hazard lights are on. Brakes. Oh, that was close. This car has such a good handling line. Like it, it feels like a sports car, it really does. Like the brakes are sharp, the turning's sharp, it just grips. On Thursday I actually um I bought a new car. Well Thursday last week. A um cherry red Toyota Igo. Oh yeah. Five doors, uh cruise control, uh Bluetooth. It's a small little hatchback European thing. A lot of people would be like, meh, that's a shit car. I really like driving it. I really do. Like, small cars are just fun. Like, I'll give you an example. I was going around a corner. It, just after a roundabout, it was like a really sharp corner in third gear. 
put my foot down and the car just understeered, almost hit a curb. And it's just that, that rush of adrenaline. I love it. But, oh, found him. <laughs> I'm getting a ticket. Bye. Oh, he just cut off that sports car. Well, if he can catch me, I'm going to stop. But something tells me he won't. So I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to make off and then drive back past him later and see if he can catch me. Like, honestly, there's no point trying, mate. You're in a charger. Oh, I'm not going to make that. Make this one, though. Bye-bye. <laughs> and bye-bye. And bye-bye. And bye-bye. Yep, yeah, he's gone. Yep, yeah, we lost him. 100% we lost him. So I'm just going to start driving normally again. I just want to see if he got a good enough description of my car to actually put out a bolo. That'd be interesting to find out. Shit, there he is. Fuck. I'm done. Fuck. How did he know? Uh, I'm going to play dumb. I didn't know. Ah, uh, this is interesting. So my name is Bobby Robertson. That's booby. <laughs> Lol. Um... Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. You know what, this is a very thirsty car, I'm just going to turn the engine off. I hear a secondary. Where is he? We might actually have an annoying guy on scene, we've got a stringer on, so... Yeah, we might just have a random person turn up at our traffic stop, that'll be fun. I did hear a cop then, but... Oh, I can hear him again. Oh, there he is. Is that the Tahoe? Really, Tahoe? You think you can keep up with me? I wonder if that's the same guy off the, um... Big bulldozer traffic stop. I'll be polite and roll down my windows, why not? I hope he likes my car. Hello, sir. What's up, man? Do you have a driver's license, proof of insurance, registration with... Of course I do. Why'd you stop me? Got you clocked to 94, coming down Joshua Road, and then I also got you clocked at 118, going uh, down Algonquin. Damn, that's impressive. Do you have your uh, driver's license proof insurance registration? Yeah, here it is. Uh, how, how am I going to give it to him there? That'll do. <laughs> Whatever, just swear at him. Right, you. And what's the name on this, sir? Bobby Robertson. Bobby Robertson. Yeah. It's a new character, so he's like, hmm, never heard of that name. Bobby Robertson, okay. No worries, sit tight with us, please, Mr. Robertson. Okay. Okay, that was surprisingly, surprisingly, surprisingly pleasant. I assumed I was going to get priority stopped and all that, my license, sir, step out of the vehicle, blah, blah, blah. Nope. Just, what's your name? My name's Booby. <laughs> what a typo. That's great. God, this car looks good. Not massively fussed on the back, like I've seen better looking cars on the back. But those exhausts, the um, diffusers, and the front. Oh, that looks good. It does worry me when they are um, just stood at their cars talking like that. It does make me wonder what they're talking about. And I actually do hope I don't have to run because my fuel is... It's not particularly low, but it wouldn't last ages. So, I'm rather... Oh, just hit my mic. Sorry about that. Sorry about ya. But yeah, I'm rather hoping they don't force me to run. But this is certainly not going to be the only ticket I get today. And something else just occurred to me. We're going to actually have to pay this. Damn, before we had to RP it, but nope, we're going to get an actual... Nope, that's not what I wanted. We're going to actually get a ticket. I'm going to have to be careful because I don't want to declare bankruptcy. I've only got like $83,000 to my name. Because I went out buying sports cars and houses. Because, you know, I'm a baller. But yeah, that... I, mm, not good. Um, yeah. If I ever do a crime, and I have a choice between a $100,000 fine or 10 years in jail, I'm going to have to take 10 years in jail. 
What's up? Gonna need you to step out of the vehicle for us, please. Why? Do you have any guns, knives, drugs, anything like that on you? No. Why do you want me to step out of the vehicle? Because, uh, unfortunately, you'll be going to be placed under arrest for the uh, driving that you've just think well, that I've just witnessed today. You were 44 over the speed limit, coming down 68, and you were you were 88 miles an hour over the speed limit coming through the uh, sandy shoals and stuff. So at this moment in time, you'll be placed under arrest for uh, such driving, okay? I don't think that's an arrestable offence, do you? I mean, would you like to come consult it with the trooper? No, I'd like to sit in my car and get a ticket. Okay, sit tight, Robertson. Um, They don't normally ask me if I want to get arrested like that. Oh, you better not. Uh-huh. Uh-uh, you better not be code 5 in me. Or priorities, whatever you want to call it, you better not. Does he need any more lights on his car? One, two, three, four, five, six. He's got six on the front and a light bar, and probably six on the back, or something stupid like that. Did, really? I mean, funny, it's a Charger and a Tahoe versus a Nissan GTR. A car specially built in a sealed lab so no dust gets in the engine. You really, really want to try and outrun me. Because it ain't going to happen. I will die before I get arrested. Because I, I haven't got much money, so... And I don't fancy sitting there in jail, so... Bobby Robertson's going to die. Let's see what this guy says. Hey, on, sir. Trooper Zavril, San Andreas Highway Patrol. What's up, man? What's going on? So you're, uh... Not wanting to step out of the vehicle? No, I'm being civil and I think it's stupid to get arrested over something so trivial. Yeah, 118 mile an hour and a 30 isn't trivial. I don't even think this car would hit 118. Oh, uh, that's what the deputy back there said. I don't care what he says, I'm not stepping out. Effort. If you're going to failure to comply, we're going to have to remove you from the vehicle. Okay? By force, if we have to. That's we can not make happening. This good. And bye. Ah, uh -uh. you are not. I'm not getting arrested for that. I don't care if you have a charger. Bye, cat. Dead cat. I've got a GTR. I'm either dying or getting away. Ooh, that's a fence. I overdid that. Thank God that didn't kill me. If the engine dies, I'm just gonna kill myself. I'm just going to run up and start punching a cop until one of them shoots me. Or jump off a building. Either one. And take a right here. Down panorama. Oh, this is perfect. Let's see if they noticed it. There goes one. Pull up into her. There goes two. Ah, nice try, gents. Like, if they want to try that shit, I'll try my own shit. Um, I need a hiding spot. I know a good place. Um, let's go. I reckon one of them's going to come back this way. So I'm going to go up here. And I'm just going to park up and see if they find me. One of them's close, I can hear them. Somewhere over in this direction. Oh, there's the Tahoe. Don't turn down here, don't turn down here. Do not turn down here. Thank you. And bye. <laughs> uh, I wonder if they're gonna spot me. Okay, they are scouring the area. Um, how am I gonna get out of this? Okay, I'm going to test them. This will be interesting. I'm going to go... I'm going to park this car in my garage. And I'm going to switch vehicles. And then when they pull me over again, I'm going to give the same name. And I wonder if they will pick that up. Um, The issue with that... It sounds like he's behind me. No, he's somewhere over there. The issue with that is the second vehicle needs to be also quite fast. Because when they do recognise me, which I'm assuming they will remember the name, 
I'm gonna have to flee again. And I, I genuinely don't want that fine or that prison sentence. So I wanna get away, so I need to turn my engine on, that would be a good start, trying to floor it. And I'm just gonna try and get home. Right, we got another car now. It's the Corquette Classic. God, I love this car. It's faster than the Elegy, believe it or not. But, um, yeah, we need to fill this up with fuel. There's nothing really wrong with the car. The only little minor things is the underglow, which is red, but it's hard to see at the moment. And the windows are very darkly tinted. So, I'm going to fill this up with gas. I'm going to drive it around, not too recklessly, but enough to attract attention. And then we're going to get pulled over and we're going to give us, well, we're going to give our name or he's going to run the plate and see our name, whichever happens. And then we're going to see what happens from there. That's a cop. That was a crash. Never mind. <laughs> Whoops a daisy. Seriously, he's not even going to react. Okay, I'm fine with that. Okay, that's weird. I filled up a gas a minute ago and when I got back in the car my speedometer started not working and my number plate doesn't I don't know I think I broke the HUD again out of the car which is I mean it happened so yeah um huh at least I have a legit excuse for not knowing how fast I'm going now I guess also the map gets brought up all the time by you guys um I don't know Simple as that. I don't know why it's like that. It's in the wrong place. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. I just can't get it back. That's a nice ass Subaru there. Damn, that's nice. But yeah, if any of you guys know how to fix the map, I would love it if you could comment something. Just let me know or at least give me a hint. Because it is driving me crazy. I think it's something to do with the settings being different in 5M to how they are in GTA. But I don't know. Just casually cruising at, oh, probably 120. I don't know, I haven't got a speedo. Uh, I forgot about that. Oh, that was close as fuck. Holy shit. That was close. Wow. I actually can't believe how close that was. Did he actually touch me? No, I don't think he did. Wow. Oh, that was close. Not in my eyes. That's the second time at this junction that's happened. Wow. We're very lucky. I had to full on slam the brakes on then. That was cool. Oh, well, at least my car didn't get damaged. Ah, oh, gotta love that desync. 130 almost we're maxing out at. Holy shit, that's actually pretty fast in GTA terms. Wow. The fastest I've ever gone on GTA is 900.8 miles per hour. I actually have a video on that, but that was using a lot of mods. So, kind of doesn't count. Ooh. My favourite fast car in GTA is actually the... Um, it's a blue truck. I can't remember what it's called. It's like a pickup truck, a lowrider drag racing truck. And I painted it blue, put tinted windows on it, and that thing was fast. Like, it would easily outdo a um, Sultan RS. I really did like my blue truck. I'm upset that they got rid of it. Oh, we got some competition. Nice. Let's see who's faster then, a Sultan RS or a Corquette Classic. Ooh, this is pretty even. Does he want to talk to me or is he racing me? I don't know. We'll find out. I think he pulled off. Or are we just that far ahead of him? We're just that far ahead of him, that's great. I'm going to slow down and wait for him in case he wanted to talk to me. No, he just wanted to drive fast, I guess. Okay, we're playing catch-up then. My god, that sun's bright. Way, that's how you do it, see? Down the middle, lane split in, quite literally. Come on, Sultan, is that all you've got? Jesus Christ, man. My nan could run faster than that. Oh, that's tight. Oh, that was close. Ha, <laughs> I'm faster than a Sultan RS, I guess. I'm a poet and I just didn't know it. Oh, that's a cop car. That's a cop car. Don't say anything. Good, don't notice me. Just relax. Oh, hello, governor. 
<laughs> He's after me. He wants to pull me over. Oh well. I'm gonna pull over. I'm a good person, what can I say? This is the exact same spot as I got pulled over in either the last or the next episode, depending on how I upload them. Right, windows down, be a polite person. Really? Everything is broken. Okay. Um I got a feeling this might be a felony stop. It would make sense. I think the officer I ran from is over there. The note is on my plate, if we look. Uh, where is it? Bobby Robertson. Note, Bobby Robertson is wanted for felony evasion of 119 earlier. Oh, he's swinging round. I think, yeah, they know. I probably should have put in an elegy RH8. Really? Oh, that's a nice bike. Here comes the felony stop. Here it is. <laughs> uh, how are they going to deal with this one? Sorry, my ears weren't working. Can you say that again? It's Trooper Jones with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. You have your license, registration, and proof of insurance on you? Uh, yeah, sh sure. Here you go, man. My name's Bobby Robertson. Bobby Robertson. All right, just sit tight with me for a second, all right? No worries. Everything is broken. My voice chat, my fucking speedo, my menu. All right, Mr. Robertson, you mind uh, just stepping out of your vehicle and just... Having a chat with me back here, please. Any particular reason? No, I just uh, feel safer if you're out of your car. That's all, sir. We're just, I just want to step over to the other side of the highway here. I feel safer in my car. Roadway. I don't see why I should I, have to step out of my vehicle. Well, sir, I, I preferred if I wasn't having to stand in the roadway. So if you just uh, kindly just step out of your vehicle and just come have a chat with me back here, please. Okay, I have a solution for that. There, now you're nowhere near the road. Oh, he thinks I'm running. See, now you're nowhere near the road. It's perfect. Right, sir, just step out of the vehicle, please. Why? Uh, because I asked you to step out of the vehicle. And I asked you why. Would you like me to rephrase the question? Uh no, no, sir. I'd just like you to step into your vehicle. I'd feel safer if you were not in a 2,000-pound vehicle that could easily crush me. Well, it's stationary. It's not going to crush you. Yeah, but the engine's on, so you mind just stepping out, please? I do mind. All right, sir. So there's two ways this is going to go down. You can either step out of the vehicle and play nice, or we can do it the hard way. Um, I choose B. And through the gap. Yeah, weren't expecting that one, were you? <laughs> really? The Tahoe's gonna take primary? Is that really how this is gonna work? There's a charger right there, buddy. Oh well. Uh, I'm not gonna go for that gap. I'm gonna go for this one, though. To make it more fair, because this car's so fast, I'm gonna, like, actually be realistic and get caught up by traffic. On the straights, I'm just gonna put my foot down, but. Like, if there's a car like this, I am going to slow down as if I'm scared to make the gap or whatever. Yeah, I don't want to... You know what? This way I'll do. <laughs> yeah, fooled you that time. Oh, he's catching me. I'm not going to go full throttle. As I said, his Tahoe's a little bit slower than my car, so I'm going to make it fair on him. And I'm going to do, like, off-roading and make it just easier for him to keep up. Like, you wouldn't take a Corvette like this off-roading this hard so I'm just gonna take it slow this feels about the right speed if they ran my car I'm gonna be pissed I don't want to go to jail I really don't want to go to jail and back on tarmac um, let's, let's be different let's squeeze this gap here and then cut back across the old indicator trick let's indicate ah you can't see my indicator oh well worth a shot <laughs> Oh, hi, Sev. <laughs> Tight gap. Uh, let's go straight. Oh, I just made that bike ramp over me, apparently. Okay, I don't know how that happened, but it'll do. Wrong side of the road hype. It's nicer when they can keep up. Okay, over the berm. 
Oh no, it's a dead end. Um, don't, don't you ram my car. Don't you ram my car. Oh, what the? Really? Okay, I'll do it in reverse then. Uh, oh, that's a tree. Engine's dead. Car's dead, car's dead, car's dead. Fuck. Okay, okay, this is bad. Car's fucking dead. Stop! <laughs> he tasted his other cop. That's great. And run this way. I just punched a cop and then he got tasered. <laughs> That's actually great. Okay. I'm slow as fuck. No stamina. No stamina. No stamina. Taser missed. Come on. Run. As fast as you can. I don't want... Uh, I don't want to go jail. God, this is the slowest foot chase ever. Is it not? Oh, they're trying. They're trying. They're trying to catch me. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. <gasps> oh, that's evil. Should I? Yeah, I'm going to try and hotwire it. Ah, they got me. They got me. You Stay on the fucking ground. <laughs> Jesus. Ah. Fuck you, man. Stand up. No. <laughs> Stand the fuck up. Or oh, what? Or I'm gonna tase you again for not complying with my orders. Now stand up. Fucking do it, prick. <laughs> stand up. Uh, okay, I guess. Hey, buddy, it's fun getting tasered, isn't it? Can you, like, get the fuck off me? What are these things on my wrist, you prick? Oh, what I'm gonna be a swizzle. Cuffs, you dumbass. Oh, suck a dick. <laughs> let's go, we're walking. Ah, let's catch a bus, I'm fat. Well, you'll lose some weight. Motherfuckers ramming my car. Hey, you're damn right we are. Yeah, you're the fucking assholes that left your sirens on waking up all the kids. You should be ashamed of yourself. It, 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 it's the middle of the day, sir, so I'm not waking up any children. That's when kids sleep. Why don't you arrest that guy on the bike? Took that corner like a madman. I'm gonna walk over here. Sir, walk on this side of the road or you're gonna be tased for a third time. Yo, bro, in the car. Fancy give me a lift out here? I'll give you a hundred bucks. Let's go. Walk. This dude Walk. keeps feeling me. You get me? That car's beautiful, isn't it? Do you want to buy it off me? I'll no, trade you it. Uh, smash a ship. I'll trade you that car for the key to the handcuffs. You get me? Nope. You're going in the back of this Tahoe. If you say so. Damn, it's spacious it's one in last here. Good look at that car because it's uh, it's going to the crusher. That's fine. It's not mine. Very spacious in this car. Yeah, it is. Starts. Um, can't see what I'm writing. Pissing in pants. There, I christened it for you. Well, it's plastic seats, so they wash out easy. I don't give a fuck. You will when it adds an extra charge. Yeah, suck a dick. Cool. Alright, you got anything on you that'll poke me, stick me, hurt me at all? I might do. Why don't you find out? I love the way I'm being a real hard ass all of a sudden. <laughs> Makes no sense. Oh well. Got any coffee while I wait? No, you can sit there and shut up. That's what you can do. Bruv, there's a coffee machine behind you. I'll have a large burrito while you're at it. Uh, that's for officer use only, so you can shut up and just sit there. 
I spend more time here than you now, so give me a coffee, bitch. I want my phone call. You'll get that when you get down to the jail, alright? I just want to order a pizza, bro. Well, you're not getting a pizza, and you're not getting a pizza where you're going, so... Yo, bruv, I got a deer for you. Bet you a hundred bucks you won't cut these handcuffs off listening. now. You owe me a hundred bucks. I don't owe you shit, sir. That's bro rules, you get me. A anything, you owe me for the fucking taser prongs that are in your back. You can suck them out if you want. Uh oh! What's up, G? Frank, Frank hey, just, uh, just, just go sit down, please. Yep. Give me a second. Hey, you in the hat. Bet you a hundred bucks you won't oh. cut the chain to these handcuffs. Hey, Mr. Robertson, You're right. how about you shut up? Why don't like you make me? Officer, all right? There we go. Alright, sir. Takes pen out of pen holder on desk so and scribbles fuck yourself. Fleeing and eluding on from desk. An you're being charged with fleeing and eluding times two. Oh. Actually, that might add an extra charge. Give me a second. Whatever. <laughs> Scribbling fuck you on the desk. That's great. Alright, sir, so here's your list of charges. Are you ready? Yeah. Alright, so aggravated fleeing and eluding of an LEO, which is a felony two. Fleeing and eluding an LEO times two, which is, are both felony threes. Theft, uh, correction, Grand Theft Auto, which is a felony three. I didn't steal nothing. Uh, you attempted to steal the bike? That's Grand Theft Auto, sir. I sat on it. It doesn't matter, you attempted to take off. If I sat on that chair, would I be stealing uh, assault, it? Assault, assault of a police officer, which is a misdemeanor one. No, I object, and because you have to move a vehicle arrest. ten feet to get that charge, so you can scribble that one out. No. Yeah, use no, my pen. As soon as you get into a vehicle that's not yours, sir, it is Grand Theft Auto. I didn't get in a vehicle. I sat on one. You got on. You got onto a vehicle with the intention of running. You have to so, move it sir, ten feet to get the charge. Well, you can take it up with the court. Oh, I will. And, re and resisting arrest, which is another felony three, so... As of current, you have three, t or correction, four times three class felonies and one times felony two, one times misdemeanor one. So you can either pay $310,000 in fines or you can do 10 years in jail. Which do you prefer, sir? Do I look fucking rich? Alright, so with that, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand these rights as they have been read to you? Okay, guys. We're in uh, jail for a long time. Ten years, you know. As you do. Um, when we get out, we'll be like 40-odd. <laughs> so, yeah. Bobby Robertson is no longer. At least not for a very, very long time. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. This episode has been quite fun. Uh, make sure you come back for the next episode and I will see you then. Peace out guys.